Felix were stuck in traffic. What's up, everybody? We're just pulling up to uh, Little Harbors Marina here. It's a little bit of a drive all the way here, but we are here, and I'm pretty sure the boat's done. I've seen it sitting over here somewhere by the side of the building, so we're going to go find it, get all the stuff loaded on it. It's a 320 sack store. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that I did a video on a few videos ago, so if you want to see the boat, you can go back and take a look at the video, but right now, i got three or four parts that we're going to put on it and one thing to check, so I'll meet you over there. Right, so we got all of our tools here. I got some parts here. I'll show you. Pardon the noise because it's rain. It looks like it's pretty busy all the time, and they already got boats dropping in the water. Let's go look at some parts first. So this is the 320. This is the same boat that I looked at in the video. I remember the boat now. And back here you got these that they call a terrace. They're kind of the wings that fold down to the side. This one's working, but this one's not. Somebody already diagnosed it, and there's a we see a ram right here, so I'm going to go pull that out and get to the ram. Hopefully it's just uh, these two screws. Let's take a look. You can kind of see there's a metal bracket right here that's attached. It looks like there's a couple of screws here that hopefully this piece will come out and we can get to that ram that's underneath here. So then move the door out of the way. So here's that ram. Shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully, I say that, but you never know what you run into when something buried in the hull. Oh, and then we got some pins here. Looks like for seats or something. We'll figure that out. And a leash. We also got to figure out why I said the windlass quit working up front. So we'll check on that. But let's do the hard part first. Let's see if we can get to this ram behind me. This door. This, I can't get it up because I'm either stuck on this, which I can't move because this actuator is bad, or I'm stuck underneath here. And now that I look at this, I don't know much about these boats. I'm kind of just figuring out as I go. We have this hatch right here. It's hinged, so these back seats move somehow. I'm going to go find a button or something. Let's see. Right over here, where we actually do the terraces, there's a technical hatch. I wonder if that's what I'm looking for. Let's see if it opens. There we go. That's what we're looking for. It's fast too. Well, looky here. That's nice. Get some inverters here. It's got a big master volt battery system in it. Instead of a generator. What else we got down here? More master volt stuff over here. Probably for a sure shade or something. Shore power breakers here. Pretty cool water tank. It's got battery switches over there in that box right there. That's what those yellow tops are, the automated switches. And I can see the uh, mercury power steering pump peeking over here. Of course the forklift's making noise right now. Let's get this box out of here. It's proving to be difficult. Now, sorry, my leg got in the way when I took this off. I basically just had to put some pressure on this and pull out on this a little bit. And sneak it right by there. But now, looking at it, I can't even fix it anyways because this is way too small compared to what they sent me with. This is what they sent me with. And it's way too big compared to that. And that is for this actuator right here in the very back. The technical hatch here. So we'll have to come back because this is wrong. So let's move on to the next thing. I'll slap that hatch back on there real quick. And do some fill magic. There we go. Now we can move on and fix these. There should be an extra one because I think three of them are bent one of them is missing so slap these in make sure they work just unscrew is pretty simple this one's definitely bent 
it won't unlock anymore. Here's the old one, here's the new one. I'm gonna change the design a little bit. Hopefully it works better. Much easier to do. So I got this one replaced too. That's for this back seat here. It's pretty cool too, these work pretty well now. You can just twist them. I'm trying to use two hands here. Just locks into place. And that's it. Oh good, I think there's only uh, two of them that were bad because this one works good. And this one up here works no problem. It looks like we only got two that are not working at this moment, but we got two extra ones, so we're gonna leave them. Right in here for him. So this would be this third item on the list here, and this isn't for the windlass. I thought maybe it was a leash for the windlass, but it's actually for those doors. And of course, it's the one that I can't fix because we were gonna replace that actuator and the leash is broken on it, so we're gonna put a new leash on it and an actuator so this side worked, but can't do that because we got wrong parts. It happens. So now, his only other complaint here is his windlass not working. So let's take a look. We have lockout. That's now it's on. We should be able to go up or down. I can hear it clicking the solenoid, so we have power here. It means we probably lost big power to the windlass, so we need to find the breaker. Underneath our seat here is our battery switches. Or at least the buttons for the battery switches. I don't see any breakers down here anywhere. Nope. So let's find out if they're in the back. Well, I looked at our back hatch here, and there is nothing. There's no wiring at all in this. This is all storage back here. So I went to the middle. I found it, but it was the last place I looked, of course. Here's the middle, and this is just storage. Those access holes are just to get to the fuel tank, that's one for your strainer and your pump for your air conditioner up front. So this means nothing. Here is a track. You slide the seat forward. That way you can open this if you need to. But it kind of slides back over here. You don't even notice it. It's a lot of storage though. When we go up front, I'll show you real quick. Well, here's the windlass. Well, the windlass motor is right there. There's the pulpit on the front of the boat there, and if you look, you see the wires are going into the hole. There is no contactor or anything in here, no relay, nothing. So, got to follow those wires into the hole, which go into the bedroom or the little cabin area. So we go down into our cabin here, and there's an access point right here underneath our little cushions. Right by our bow thruster, and another battery, there is a breaker. And there's our contactor right there. Let's push this breaker. Now we should have power. All right, let's see if it works now. Sounds like it worked to me. All right, well that was the last thing on our list. So windlass is working. We got the seat pins fixed. He's got a few extra ones. Our actuator in the back and our cable are gonna be done the next time because they sent us basically the actuator for the middle, what do they call it again? Technical hatch, which is just an engine hatch or bilge hatch, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, as always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later.